going on guys, Sergeant Tactics. Welcome to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install OBS Studio on macOS in 2024. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description below. If you're watching this on your Mac, you can click that link and then it'll bring you to this website here, which is obsproject.com. Now this only works for, I believe, Catalina and newer, but I could be wrong. You might be able to get an older version to work. So what you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and click macOS here. As you can see, if you hover over it, it says supports macOS 11 or newer. So if you have anything below that, it may or may not work. You can try it with an older version if you'd like. Uh, go ahead and click that, and then you're going to have two options. You're going to have Intel and Apple Silicon. You can choose either depending on the Mac you have. To check, if you go up to your top left-hand corner about this Mac, click on the Apple logo. You're going to have the information here. This window might look different depending on the version of macOS you have. But as you can see, I have 14.4.1, and I have an M1, which is the Apple Silicon variant. I do not have an Intel Mac. So go ahead and click the Apple Silicon if you have an Apple Silicon or Intel. The process is the same. The installation is going to be the same. Obviously, you're just clicking a different button depending on which variant you have. It's going to open up a new tab. It's going to give you some information, uh, like you have an overview, some forms. There's a Discord, which I'm not even in. I might join that. Uh, and there's a quick start, quick start guide for new beginners as well. Then once it's done installing, you can go ahead and click the folder icon. It'll bring you to the installer, or you can just go ahead and double click it. It's going to pop up with this window here. All you have to do is grab OBS and drag it into the applications folder. Then once it's done, you can go ahead and close that. You can go to your desktop. It's going to have a... Uh, drive basically mounted to your Mac. You can just go ahead and eject that. Then to open OBS Studio, you can go to your launch pad and click OBS, or you can do the command key, spacebar, type in OBS and click enter. It is going to verify and it's going to basically confirm that you're okay with installing this app or opening it due to the fact that you did download it on the internet. It's just a Mac thing. Uh, just go ahead and click open. As you can see, we have systems extensions blocked. All you have to do is click open system settings. And then as you can see right here, it says system software from application OBS was blocked from loading. Click allow and type in your password, click enter, and then it should work. Then you should be good there. As you can see, we have uh, updates. You can automatically check for updates. That's fine. Uh, one thing it will do, I actually have this installed on here previously. It's going to give you, it's going to ask for permission. The, the best way to do this is go to your system settings, go to your security uh, right here. So go to privacy and security, uh, find screen and system audio recording and then you're going to find obs that's going to be turned off it's going to pop up with a window asking you to verify everything once it does that you should be able to verify that it's basically confirmed as well as audio recording as well but yeah guys that's how you install obs studio on your mac os device in 2024 the it might change between 2024 but at the time of the recording of this video that is how you install obs studio if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like if you guys did not enjoy this video please drop a dislike Subscribe to the channel if you guys have not done so already. I thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video, and peace out.